So we're gonna need what? Chainsaw. Chainsaw. 20 inch chainsaw. Flush cut. Plus cut. We'll get it going today. So what is up and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Big D Concrete Cutting and Core Drilling. That's the name of the company. We do a lot more than just core drilling and concrete cutting. We do a little bit of all of it. So what the main goal is to bring you guys along with us to show you what we're doing day in and day out. We got some pretty cool stuff going on. My name is Adam. I'm one of the lead operators and over here. What's up guys? My name is Kyle, operations manager of Big D. My job around here is to keep my guys safe, dispatch them in the morning, do sales and just make sure my guys are taken care of cool cool so kyle what we got going on today so we're gonna cut this door open and form it's a 3070 and ain't nothing to it three feet wide seven feet tall and that's just a standard door opening 307 standard is door, standard opening, door right. opening So with what we got going on, one thing that we always have to consider is we gotta be 100% self-sufficient out in the field. Even though we're in a plaza right now, a lot of the times we're not necessarily. So we got water coming straight off the truck. That's coming right over here to the power pack. So this is for all the hydraulic saws, everything. So we got water in, water going to the saw, and then we got the hot water. That's just going back to the tank. It goes from the tank and cycles through. So that's the cycle, that's all good. That's how that works. Then we got all of our saws, everything that we're gonna be using is already laid out. That way we're not gonna have to be going in and out of the truck, grabbing all of these things. Like I said, it is right there for us already. And then we got our generator for our power for our wet vac. So 100% self-sufficient. We don't have to rely on power or water from anything or for anybody and that's, that's just how we do it. flush cut everything went really well this concrete is really hard because this is tilt wall so now we got to move into using just the handsaw we were doing the flush cut now we're going to go ahead and approach it with the handsaw so we're going to go ahead we're going to follow out our lines obviously but we're also going to do a couple of demo lines and kyle how are you going to approach this with the saw what's your mindset all right basically i'm going to use this handsaw to follow these vertical lines you got to start at the bottom Go in about an inch or two, follow it all the way up, plunge your cut, and let it drop down. Right now we have our two outside cuts. Now these cuts, they really matter because that's what you're still gonna see. This part is going to be on the wall still. Now we have the inside cuts and we also did a demo cut right in the middle. And what you think for next, Kyle? We're gonna have to do some horizontal cuts 
This is eight inch thick tilt wall. It's pretty heavy. So we're gonna cut it into different pieces so that way we can pull it down safely. All right, so now we're completely done cutting. So now comes the part of, it's kind of hard. We got to do this strategically. Well, it's not that hard. You just got to work smarter, not harder because we got some big pieces. Now one of these pieces, even the small piece could weigh well over 150 pounds, wouldn't you say? Right. Yeah, so the rule of thumb or the saying is 12 by 12 by 12 where a cubic square concrete 150 pounds is going to be heavy. So we're right. just going to go ahead and try to work it out, get these small pieces out, and then we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. I'll put it on the deck. Alright, All right, my end's about to go. Just like Ready? It. Yep. So that's a 3070 Mandor. Now at the end of the day, unfortunately the camera died, but you guys saw it as soon as we popped out that concrete. That's ultimately what we're going for. You saw the door opening nice and straight. Everything looked true, 90 degree angles. Now, after we stopped filming, before we left, of course we cleaned up a little bit more, but that's, that's not what you wanna see. So Kyle, a quick summary. Overall, everything went great. We started with the flush cut. We used the 20 inch handsaw to do our verticals and horizontals. Then lastly, we did the chainsaw in all the corners. Everything came out nicely. We did the job safely, got everything cleaned up for the customer. Customer was extremely happy with everything. That's all we can basically ask for. Yep, every single job, that's all we strive for. So I think that's gonna be it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Look out for so much more stuff on the way.